Welcome everybody. And this is my ultimate game room. Well, not even a game room. It's a game house tour. Something I've been working on for quite a minute now and I'm finally ready to show off what I've got set up. So let's get right on into it. This is the living room slash movie room. And let me just scroll around. Give you all a good panoramic view of what's going on here. And then once I do that, let the explaining begin. All right, first we're gonna start off with the uh, projector. It is an Epson LS 600 projector, short throw, laser. Also, it came with a screen, an ambient light rejecting screen, kind of like the uh, Di Black Diamond series from Screen Innovations, but it's actually made by Epson. This is a 130 inch screen. All right. Next, what we have Superman Cape from Justice League Trophy Edition. My Back to the Future poster, one of my favorite movies. Got me a record player where I can play certain records. Uh, due to the fact this is a movie room, I play stuff like the E.T. storybook that was read by Michael Jackson. I've got the Superman the Movie soundtrack, which sounds amazing. And of course, I had to add in the Thriller album. All right. For Sundays, I usually set this thing loose to clean up around everything. Here in my display case at the bottom, I've got my headbands from the Karate Kid. The one in the far back is a Miyagi-Do dojo. Then I got the Cobra Kai one. And then underneath that, that is from Afro Samurai, the number one headband. The book from the recently deceased from Beetlejuice, Lord of the Rings ring and Orin from The NeverEnding Story. Up top, I have a head bust from Terminator 2, my uh, favorite movie of the Terminator series. Down here, I have my stereo receiver. It's a Sony Dolby Atmos receiver. Oh yeah, the 3D glasses, <laughs> they actually go to the projector. The Great 3D, great for 3D movies. All right, I got my PlayStation 5, my uh, laser disc player right here. And down here, I have a Sony Blu-ray player with a Sony VHS player for watching my old school movies. Over here, I have my Xbox Series X mini refrigerator from Target. Nice little uh, novelty item. All right, and next we have my uh, other display case. This is from a show called The Greatest American Hero. Um, this is a special collector's edition that comes with the handbook that he lost in the first episode that told him how to use the suit. Here we have um, artifacts from Willy Wonka, the Jurassic Park. The two coins are from John Wick for the hotel and the necklace from The Witcher. Then I have the mask from The Mask and a 20th Century Fox replica of The Heart of the Ocean from Titanic. I actually need to clean that up a bit. It's getting kind of dusty. Then up top, we have the uh, hand from Terminator Part 2. Looks pretty awesome. That's a favorite movie. All right, and that is it for that section. Um, the speaker system is a uh, Dolby Atmos, Sony Dolby Atmos speaker system. So I've got two subwoofers and two tower speakers and up top I have the uh, what are they they're the surround sound speakers that make it sound like the helicopters are overhead and stuff 
works really great. And then over here I have the two rear speakers. And that is the sound setup. Now, right here is my Ghostbusters display with my Kill Bill sword at the bottom, my Hataro Hanzo. And this is the Ghostbusters DVD Ultimate Collector set that has all the Ghostbusters movies. My Ghostbuster popcorn container from the Ghostbuster Afterlife movie that came out last year. Up top, I have Tobin's Spirit Guide with some ectoplasm from Ghostbusters 2. My Vigo the Carpathian. I have a uh, Ecto Goggles from Spirit of Halloween. The Ghost Trap from Maddie Collectors. The PKE Meter from uh, Spirit of Halloween. This here is a uh, Egon Spangler Neutrino Wand from GameStop, along with my uh, signature from Ernie Hudson when I met him at a Comic Con. This here is a sign from GameStop that lights up via USB port or batteries. Just hadn't got it plugged in. The Proton Pack is from Spirit of Halloween. It's a great display item until my Hasbro Pulse uh, replica Proton Pack comes in that I ordered last year. It should come in next year. It looks incredible. All right, on to the next collectibles. This is the sword from Blade with the scabbard. The lamp from A Christmas Story. The hoverboard box from Back to the Future Part 2. This is the uh, newspaper from Back to the Future Part 2. Uh, popcorn maker. And more replica stuff for the movies. And uh, just kind of look at that. I okay. got just kind of go through it real quick. My E.T. finger. It's not a dildo. This here is the ticket from the last action hero with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And this is the ticket the kid got to put him into the movies. I always wanted to be in a movie, so I had to get the ticket. <laughs> My Magua. Jam earrings. The uh, Turbo Man from Jingle All the Way. The uh, Christmas tree from Charlie Brown. Uh, my DeLoreans. The Red Rider BB gun from A Christmas Story. Ultimate Christmas gift. <laughs> Sword of Omens. This is the phone that Neo answered when Morpheus called on The Matrix Part 1. Next to it, I've got The Matrix of Leadership from Transformers the Movie. Right here is my flux capacitor replica from Universal Studios Diamond Select Series. Here I have the radioactive material that turned uh, pretty much the ooze from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. And here go the turtles and Super Shredder. Shredder, as you can see, he has that container in his hand that I've got right there. My dragon radar to track all the dragon balls. The uh, keys from Ready Player One. And this is my Marvel's Collector's Edition Phase One DVD set. Open it up and it lights up. Inside you have the Tesseract Cube with the DVDs. Amazing collector set. Boom. All right, moving right along, we got the kitchen. All right, nothing much in the kitchen, but what it does is that it leads to my office. Right here. All right, the office is pretty basic. I've got a Samsung Curve TV, uh, 55 inch on top. Then I got the Samsung G9 Odyssey uh, ultra wide monitor with a snowball mic. Running my computer, I don't have anything fancy, but it's great for editing. The Mac Mini computer, just right down there. 
And then I have a DJI drone mini. Love playing with that thing. And just some various boxes on top of the shelf. Over here I have my um, little stand where my router is. My vector robot. DJ equipment that I use on Saturdays when I want to play DJ. Over here I have my adjustable table, in which this is great for when I want to build models. Uh, put little stuff together like this. So pretty much my hobby table. This is the area I set up for uh, doing interviews and video chatting. It's going to be finished here. I got to add some more wallpaper. Ran out. Got some uh, Lift FX lights up here. Adds ambient to the room. These are also Philips Hue lights. And the good thing about these Philips Hue lights, I got them all over the house. Like these three lights are it. And then the three lights in the living room on the fan are also Philips Hue lights. And they're all controlled by my PC. So if I wanted to, which sometimes I do, I'll have the program running on the PC and have whatever's on the PC screen affects what how the lights are. And also I have a uh, light strip, as you can see on top of there, that changes color as well. So that is pretty much my kitchen and the living room. Let me get another shot of everything for you. Oh, and then down here, I have my electric fireplace. I actually kind of modified that. <laughs> there was a gas fireplace there, which I don't like using gas for one. It's expensive and I don't want to create some explosion. So anyway, I just replaced it with an electric one that turned out pretty good. And I love the LED lights that uh, I can change on. So that is my uh, movie room, living room. Now on to the game room, which it says game room right there with the wizard. Which way do I go? Left or right? Left or right? Yeah, let's go this way. To the right. And here is where I play all my other games. Well, pretty much all my games. That is a 65 inch Samsung Curve TV. The lights that you see are all Philips Hue. Now let me explain how those are set up. Behind the TV, I've got a, a Philips Hue gradient light strip for a 65 inch TV. Behind the speakers, I have two Philips Hue bars. On the floor, I got a Philips Hue, just a regular uh, light strip. Also around the floor behind the arcades are two more strips to add more ambient lighting and another Philips Hue strip at the bottom right there. It adds an incredible effect and I'll turn the lights out later to show you how that is. Right here, Oculus Quest 1, Oculus Quest 2, my arcade machines, my VR station for my uh, PlayStation VR, the only reason I did that was because I got a PlayStation Pro running on, you know, my regular TV. So that could just have its own little station. All the arcades I enjoyed as a child. Love playing Turtles at Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Played it at the mall. I had a line of people behind me trying to beat me. I would stand there for like a good hour with just tons of people coming up trying to beat me on it. Till I just got tired, I'm like, hey, you can just beat me now. Anyway, these two are uh, arcades that I played at Chuck E. Cheese. And when, when me and my cousins went, these are the ones we flopped to first were the Simpsons, X-Men, and the Turtles. So we could all play together because we love simultaneous playing. It was just fun. So I'm actually glad they came out with those for 1UP. Here I have DJ Hero. I still love playing that game. 
along with playing rock band. And that's the rock band, D, uh, not DJ, the rock band Ion drum set with my guitars behind it. My respawn chair, which is super comfy, had it for a couple years now. Also with the rock band, there's a stage kit, which I have set up for two lights instead of just one. All right, behind all this is where I have most of my consoles hooked up. Not all of them are hooked up yet, still working on it, but I mainly hooked up the ones that I like to play, like my Switch, Wii U, PlayStation Pro, PlayStation 4 Pro, and my Xbox 360 for my rock band and DJ uh, Hero stuff. So, that is pretty much this room. Now let me turn the lights out and show you how it looks. It's a really great effect. The lights are really accurate with hitting everything that's on the screen as you can see. So it adds like a new kind of immersive feeling when playing games now. But you really should see it in Rock Band. It looks incredible. Well, all right. Well, now that that's that room, actually, one more thing. I should have had this light on right here. Game room. Do, do, do. Yes. All right. Next, we have the toy room. In which, in the toy room, I have a bunch of 80s and 90s toys. So, let me get a kind of a panoramic view of that. Show you everything. And then I'll just go through this real quick. Right here, I have my Hot Wheels, some of my favorites. And actually, these were the Hot Wheels from the Hot Wheels game that just came out, which I love playing. Here are my uh, boxes. Love collecting boxes. Let's kind of scroll through those for you. Yeah, look at that. Now, those are my game boxes. These are my toys. And that's actually a KB toy store sign that I actually made myself from wood and painted it. But up top, you see I got my grubby from Teddy Ruxpin, Captain Power, the animal truck, the animal, fast tracks. That's actually the trolley from uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Pretty cool. Over here, I have some Knight Rider stuff. Voltron, Dick Tracy, the horses from Brave Star 3030. It's Brave Star doing the package. He Man, Castle Grayskull with Orko, Snake Mountain, and another Ghostbusters collection. I love my Ghostbusters. You're wondering why I've got two Ghostbuster boxes? One up top is from 1984, I believe. But it's got the uh, old manual, and it was neat kind of comparing the old box to the new box. A lot of differences. Got my firehouse with my actual old Ecto-1 in there. My figures with all their proton packs. The ghost trap, which I just absolutely love, and it uh, still works. Look at that. <laughs> it opens with air compression. Pretty cool. And these right here are the Filmation Ghostbusters. Which I just, I just love the theme song like that. Let's go Ghostbusters. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Now here goes some of my doll collections. Big and not in sync. Wow. Can't believe I said that. Uh, and New Kids on the Block. I was really big in them back when I was a kid. Love watching Sailor Moon and, of course, Michael Jackson with the Thriller jacket, Vanilla Ice, mainly because he was in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. MC Hammer 
I mean, because that man was just too legit to quit. That was my favorite song back in the day. And here are just some of my magazines that I collected as a, well, not collected as a kid, but I read as a kid. Some old elementary school books that I read. That marker is from Picture Pages. Back, I think maybe an 80s show, Bill Cosby. These are some of my favorite G.I. Joes, Serpentor, The Twins, Tomax, and Zomont, Zaymont, Sergeant Slaughter. My Nintendo Lunchboxes, my Urkel doll. <laughs> Domino Rally, Simon and Simon. Well, two Simons, but Simon was just a great memory game I love playing. Now, right here, this Oreo bike. <laughs> this is literally one of the rarest items that I've owned right now. What makes this so rare is that only 50 of these were made in the world because this was a sweepstakes bike. This is a bike you couldn't buy back in the 80s. I think it was like 84. But the only way you could get this bike is that you had to win it from an Oreo stacking contest. And each state only had one bike. So therefore, 50 states, 50 bikes. If you didn't get one, you just didn't get one. You had to like me when I got older and I had to buy it off eBay, which it was worth it because this is something that I always wanted as a kid. The Oreo bike. So, I got that. Pretty excited about it. And it's in incredible condition. The guy that had it or that I uh, bought it from just kept it in his garage and never uh, rode it. Check that out. No tread. I mean, the tread is still intact on the tires. Even right here, the boots had never been worn. Anyway. Great collector's item, great conversation piece as well. Then as you can see, I got some turtles, stuff with my Centurions, Thundercats, uh, Superman. That's actually a 1978 Superman figure uh, that I had when I was a kid, one of the first Supermans I ever had. So I had to rebuy that again. E.T., the phone booth from Bill and Ted. Some uh, Sectors and Gumby and Beetlejuice. And up here, have some Transformers, some of my favorites, which are Hot Rod and Rodimus Prime and Starscream and Optimus Prime. Laser Tag, a Glow Worm. I mean, I love sleeping with that as a kid. It was just, it was just so relaxing. <laughs> then these are my Karate Kid figures. And I tell you, from the commercial that I saw as a kid from the Karate Kid, the one line that I remember that Mr. Miyagi said, true strength come from heart. I never forgot that. But anyway, I digress. Up here is my mask, my two favorite mask figures and vehicles, which was a Switchblade and Thunderhawk. The uh, Sentinel from X-Men. My Bionic 6 figures, and actually this is the complete set. Got this long time ago <laughs> when they were cheap. Because right now they're just way too expensive. But to get all the figures in the set for just 60 bucks, incredible deal. All right. Also with my turtle stuff, I got the original turtle blimp from the 80s. All right. Over here, these are the original soft head turtles from the 80s. And as you can see, they still have the stickers on them from like KB and stuff. Even that one from Walmart to show you that when they first came out, and they were only $3.94, only four bucks. All right, Bill and Ted figures. Then with my Ghostbusters, these are the reissues that have Who You Gonna Call still on them. The later ones, they took that off. My Blade. <coughs> and my uh, X-Men. I love the 90s cartoons, X-Men, so I got 
all my favorite figures or all my favorite characters as figures. All right. And then on this wall, I have my Batman the Animated Series along with my Superman stuff. Let's kind of scroll through all of that. Double Dragon. Robocop. Another Terminator. Captain Planet. <laughs> Who remembers Reboot? And Robin Hood and Inspector Gadget. And this is just a punch bag that I had from when I was a kid. Loved having it, so had to get that again. All right. Then, right here, I have my little gaming setup for my retro consoles. This TV is just not a regular TV that I found. This is an actually Xena Space Command TV from 1983. The neat thing about this TV is that this is the exact model that I got, or my family got, when I was a kid that I used to play my Nintendo on. So playing my original Nintendo on the original TV that I used to have is just an experience in itself that just exuberates nostalgia. So, and I also was playing one of my favorite games, Super Mario Bros. 2. And down here, I've got my Sega. Along this is with my cabinet that has all my games because right here, this is all the games. Well, actually, probably a little bit less, but when growing up, you didn't have that many NES games. So this is all, these are pretty much my favorites right here. You can see. It just kind of scrolls through those, but I got more than that. And actually, a lot of my games right now are uh, still in the garage and boxes because I just hadn't found a place to put them yet. Up top there is my GameCube sign from a store display. Pretty cool. I actually got that for free. All right. Now, more about this little station. I got my uh, Power Glove and my original Game Boy up here. Some Mario figures in the box I got from Walgreens. And my complete Rob the Robot right there. All right. Next, we're going to have is my collector's closet where I collect all, well, these are all my collector's editions from video games. And down here, I have all my Labo kits. Epic Mickey. The Batmobile. This Batmobile was actually supposed to be the collector's edition for Arkham Knight. But due to the fact it was so intricate and hard to make, they discontinued it and went with the statue. This is why I'm going to show you. This is an amazing display. Comes with a remote. As you can see those lights. Now, it transformed. Check it out. So yeah, they couldn't mass produce that fast at all without having a bunch of errors made and stuff, so. They're more about quality control, so they're like, yeah, we just released a few of them and then came out with that one. So I was able to get that from Poland, actually. A guy had a box set of them, and I bought off of them. Well, just one off of them. So that was pretty good to get. This is from Arkham Origins. This is from Batman Arkham Asylum, the original. And this one is from Batman Arkham City. Over here, we have the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinitive Edition. And this has got the uh, gemstones. And that is the Spider-Man from the Spider-Man game on PS4. 
Up here we have some uh, Street Fighter stuff. Collector's edition like the joysticks. This is Ryu's black belt, which is pretty awesome. As you can see, it matches the statue right here. Pretty cool. That's just an amiibo, and that's a collector's statue. With an official 20th anniversary, 25th anniversary of collector's edition certificate. This here is a uh, Castlevania collector's edition from Nintendo DS. The Assassin's Creed Blade and Crossbow. Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition Head Bus of Scorpion. <coughs> Here we go, my uh, Game & Watch series that were just re-released. The first Mortal Kombat, uh, dis not display, but uh, Collector's Edition I got with the book stands. Dragon Ball Universe Part 2 with the Time Patroller's Guide and the statue of Goku at Super Saiyan. Pretty awesome. The uh, Triforce Lamp. This here is a rare Zelda patch, along with the rare Zelda bobblehead from the GameCube. This is rare because they only gave it out to GameStop managers at a convention. And I was able to get one from a uh, GameStop manager that was getting rid of all her stuff. So I was like, heck yeah, I'll take that. These are some rupees from Legend of Zelda. All right, up top here, Mega Man Blaster, my Resident Evil collection with my chainsaw from Resident Evil 4. I got the viruses right there, the T-Virus, the house from Resident Evil 7, along with the candle that go, that's 4D, so while you're playing it in 3D, you can smell it in 4D, and it, it smells like a like blood in a house that's been sitting there for a while. It's like a copper smell, but it's pretty spooky. And that's just a VHS tape that comes with that whole collector's edition. Uh, let me see if I can show you what this does. Turn that. This house is some incredible detail, and I've been wanting it for a very long time and finally got it. <laughs> so, that's a great addition to my collection. God of War, one of my favorite series on PlayStation. It's what actually got me into PlayStation is God of War 3. Been hooked ever since. But, I got these Blades of Chaos on eBay, of course, a while back. For like 20 bucks a piece. So 40 bucks for both of them. And these are actually officially licensed Blades of Chaos from Sony. Just look at that. And they're made of foam. But with a made of made foam, they are in great detail. And I've always wanted a pair of, you know, Blades of Chaos and stuff. Oh, and this one's from, uh, I think, Ascension. This is from part one, Pandora's Box, that's the collector's edition. And this is from uh, God of War. They were just recently released, Sonic Mania. And my Metroid Blaster, or Samus Cannon. And that is my collector's area. With my toys. So, that is a complete game room tour. We're not even game room, I say. It's a house tour. A house gaming setup. The whole house is a man cave. So, this is the video that everyone's been waiting for to kind of see my progress. Believe it or not, still got a lot more to do. But... That is the fun. It's a never-ending project 
of upgrading and decorating. And I tell you, having fun in this room, chilling in this room, and relaxing in this one. Well, hopefully, not hopefully, I will do another video sometime soon to keep uh, showing y'all all the stuff and how everything operates because if I showed you how everything operated in this video, it'd be super long. So until the next time, goodbye.